Hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. Today we are using a swage and sworn copper pipe. The reason college is like this is because you don't waste fittings when learning to solder. Swaging copper is expanding the end of one pipe to accommodate another. On soet, you would use a coupling. The advantages of using a swaged fitting is there's only one joint and no fittings are required, which could save you money. The disadvantages of this technique are that it can be very time consuming and you cannot always do it in situ. For this exercise, you have to use a hacksaw. You cannot use a pipe slice because the tool will not enter the fitting. To make this process easier, we need to soften the pipe. We do this by heating it up so it goes bright red and then cooling it down. It is important to wear ear protection for the next part of the technique. We insert the swaging tool into the copper pipe. And we need to use a hammer and we are gonna hammer it all the way till it goes in to this depth. But we need to keep turning the pipe for it to work to get an even bore. We are now going to prepare the pipe to solder it, so we need to clean up the inside of the pipe. And also the outside of the pipe that's going to go into the fitting. Using the flux brush, we put some flux around the outside of the pipe that's going to go into the fitting. Right, we are now ready to solder the pipe. Remember that because this is 22mm pipe, we only need approximately 22mm of solder. Any more will just fall onto the heat proof mat. We now wait approximately one minute for the pipe to cool down, and we then need to clean off any excess flux using a wet sponge. 
try it. Let's pressure test our work. So we'll put a stop end on one end and we will connect the other end to the pressure tester. Here we have 10 bar pressure. So that is how you swage and solder copper pipe. Have a go exercise at the end of this video. Use the worksheet and work off your telephone. See you in the next video.